For some Macon County families, it's probably an answer to a prayer. As you're about to see, a new facility has opened here in Lafayette, geared toward helping children with special needs. I do want to talk about what we are doing here at the Jenkins Center. Kimberly Hale welcomes Macon County Chamber of Commerce members to the Jenkins Center. The facility, formerly known as Stonecrest, now serves children and adults with special needs. We have the opportunity to host the quarterly Chamber of Commerce uh, luncheon and it's going to provide an opportunity to share more information about the projects that we're working on and bring an awareness um, of some needs in our community that we're hoping uh, to fill some gaps. The name of the facility is the Jenkins Center. It was named after my grandfather, uh, Bill Jenkins. He had a twin brother and his twin brother had special needs and um, I grew up in a family that um, really supported and encouraged um, others with special needs and so um, at this point, we have several projects going at the Jenkins Center, uh, one of which, and that's what we're speaking with the Chamber about today, is a program called Exceptional Beginnings. It is a uh, inclusive nonprofit child care program that we're looking to get in the building. Um, we also have um, therapy services. Wellspring LLC is in the Jenkins Center as well. And then we have another nonprofit that we're working with called One Small Act. OSA is a nonprofit to help at risk teens in our community. So we're hoping to bring just comprehensive services to the youth in our community. Hale says she's faced some challenges in getting the entire facility up and running. The vision that we have is that um, we can provide the services for the children in the building. So, um, for example, maybe the child will come to exceptional beginnings for daycare. Um, say they qualify for a variety of therapy services. The children can be uh, signed out by their therapist, receive their therapy services, and then go back to their daycare facility. So the parents can drop their children off in the morning knowing that they're going to have child care um, that is tailored specifically for their child's individualized needs and then also the therapy services they need throughout the day. In our clinical side, in the Wellspring side, we currently serve about 25 uh, children. Um, we have the capacity to at least double that in the next six months, so we're very excited about that with our move to the new building. Um, on the child care side, with exceptional beginnings, we've been um, the occupancy, again, working through the paperwork, but upwards of 90 plus children on that side. Our target is to have 50% uh, of the children with special needs and 50% of our children, um, same age peers that can be that uh, peer model. We're in the process of growing right now. In the clinical side, we have approximately 12 employees um, right now that work with children um, on um, skills, and then we also work on um, uh, appropriate behaviors. So, for example, um, children that may engage in physical aggression or self-injurious behaviors that are related to their specific diagnoses. We work to help teach them replacement behaviors so they can be a part of their communities without those behaviors. So, approximately 12 on that end. Um, right now, we have not hired our staff for exceptional beginnings. We have been jumping through some hoops with uh, local state agencies, some red tape that we're going through. We actually had um, the state fire marshal's office in our building this morning to walk through. Um, our building meets the requirements for a child care facility, but there's some paperwork that we're working on right now. Hale and her staff are here to help long term. There are uh, several overarching goals that we have. One is uh, develop a sense of community among the families um, that have children with special needs. And many of them face the same battles or the same challenges in connecting those families together. Um, another um, area that I really want to target through their work at the Jenkins Center, through the clinic, through our work with Exceptional Beginnings, and then OSA as well, is that so often families in our community will receive a diagnosis, say at Vanderbilt, and they'll get a list of therapies that their children need, and then they leave, and they're left to figure it out on their own. And we really want the Jenkins Center to be a place where families can come and feel supported, and that we have people here that can answer their questions about uh, particular therapies. There's also a ton of resources in our community that are available to children and families that have um, special needs. Um, for example, Cason's Calls and Pace Setters out of Cookville, and they can provide so much support, but a lot of families are not aware of that. And so we want to be a place that when a family walks in the door, 
that there's people that we can connect them to, the resources, and that they have questions or concerns that, that we can guide them in that direction and they can feel supported in our hometown, not having to drive 45 minutes or an hour you know, to get those services. Our community, our children deserve to have the same level of services as children in urban areas. Our goal is to provide services far beyond what you could even get there. We want to be a model for other agencies where families can go and feel supported. And so there are no words to explain or to describe the excitement that I feel at the opportunities. It has most definitely been a roller coaster because you feel like, I told someone, that you feel like you're moving um, mock speed at a snail's pace. There are things that are going so quickly to get the approvals and then there's things that seem like they take so much time and we want to open our doors to these smiling faces and i told someone when uh, shortly after i purchased the building that i just wanted to sit in the corner and watch the children in the building laugh and grow and learn and be a part of their communities i've sat with so many families that they face barriers they want to be able to go to their church or go to restaurants or go shopping with their children because of maybe behavior concerns or maybe the child's language is not developed um, to, um, to a place that, that they can communicate their needs and wants. And I want, I want to support the children in being a part of their communities. And there's no words to describe. Um, we started three years ago, the clinical services three years ago, and um, it was just a little dream that has just grown exponentially in the last three years, and um, we're thrilled to see what we can do moving forward. For more information concerning services offered, you can call the Jenkins Center. That number is 615-688-9504. Reporting from Lafayette, Barry Hyatt, NCTV.